Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, today's topic is HPLC calibration, why is calibration necessary? Without accurate calibration, we risk obtaining erroneous data that could lead to incorrect conclusions. Poor calibration can result in failed experiments, wasted resources, and potentially harmful products. It's essential to maintain the integrity of your results, which is why we need to regularly calibrate our HPLC systems, calibration parameters listed below, D2 lamp energy check, detector, leakage test, by pressure drop, flow rate accuracy, wavelength accuracy test for UV detector, linearity of detector response, calibration of injector loop, auto sampler injector calibration. Calibration for gradient program test, column oven temperature, carryover test, D2 lamp energy check, detector, procedure, ensure that, the instrument is ready for calibration and startup procedure is followed, on the detector's display window, some values at the functions L, NM, ABS, AU, range, AUFS, and lamp appears, on the display, previously set value blinks at L, NM, function, enter the wavelength to 254 nanometers by pressing numeric keys, press funk back key and select lamp functions. Enter 1 to select D2 lamp. Further press funk back key till ref en appears, record the reference energy of the D2 lamp at 254 nanometers in the calibration log. Leakage test, by pressure drop, procedure, ensure that, the instrument is ready for calibration and startup procedure is followed, place inlet tubing of the pump into the water HPLC grade through a suction filter, allow the mobile phase to flow for about 5 minutes, block pump outlet with the block screw, the pressure rises and on crossing the 300 bar, error Pmax appears on the display window. Note the time. Press CE key and observe the pressure drop for 5 minutes, after 5 minutes, record the pressure in the calibration log, flow rate accuracy, materials needed, HPLC system, with a suitable pump and injector, timer or stopwatch, graduated cylinder or volumetric flask, with known volume. Calibration standards if applicable, record-keeping materials, notebook, data sheets, or software, step-by-step -step procedure, purge all solvent pumps, B, C and D with HPLC grade water slash extra pure water, flush the instrument for 15 minutes by using filtered and degassed water for pump A as mobile phase at the flow rate of 0.5 milliliters per minute. Weight the dry 10 milliliters measuring cylinder, grade A, W1, collect the water from column inlet for 5 minutes, flow calibration is to be done by following. Process, weight of empty cylinder, W1, weight of cylinder water, W2, weight of water, after 5 minutes, W3, equals, W2, W1, calculate the flow rate using below formula, flow rate, W3 slash 5, XC, ML slash min. Where C is conversion factor equals gram to ml of water, C equals 0.99602, at 25 degrees Celsius, 5, total number of minutes, calculate average flow rate of duplicate analysis, repeat the above procedure by setting flow rate at 0 0.5, 1.0, 1.5, and 2.0 ml slash minutes, repeat the procedure for other pump B, C, D. The flow rate accuracy should be within plus or minus 2% of the set flow rate. Wavelength accuracy test for UV detector, the chromatographic conditions are as follows, column, C18, 250mm x 4.6mm, 5M, column temperature, 25C, flow rate, 1.0 ml slash min, mobile phase, methanol, HPLC water, injection volume, 20L, prepare the 20 ppm of caffeine in HPLC water. Caffeine stock solution, weigh accurately about 50 mg of caffeine in 100 ml volumetric flask, add 60 ml of HPLC water. Sonicate for 15 minutes and dilute it to volume with HPLC water. Dilute 2 ml of caffeine stock solution to 50 ml with HPLC water, inject the preparation at 269, 270, 271, 272, 273,274, 275, 276 and 277 nanometers.
Same time check that the maximum area should be detected at the wavelength 272 nanometers plus or minus 2. 0 nanometers, linearity of detector response, the chromatographic conditions are as follows, column, C18, 250 millimeters times 4.6 millimeters, 5M, column temperature, 250C, flow rate, 1 milliliters per minute, mobile phase, methanol, HPLC water, wavelength, 272 nanometers, injection volume, 20L. Then prepare the level solution of 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 ppm with the help of the dilution of caffeine stock solution, 20 ppm solution, dilute 2.0 milliliters of the caffeine stock solution to 50 milliliters with HPLC water, 30 ppm solution, dilute 3.0 milliliters of the caffeine stock solution to 50 milliliters with HPLC water, 40 ppm solution, Dilute 4.0 milliliters of the caffeine stock solution to 50 milliliters with HPLC water, 50 ppm solution. Dilute 5.0 milliliters of the caffeine stock solution to 50 milliliters with HPLC water. 60 ppm solution. Dilute 6.0 milliliters of the caffeine stock solution to 50 milliliters with HPLC water. Inject each solution three times. Calculate the mean area RSD percent. NMT 2%. Plot the graph of concentration against area for the linearity of detector response. Calculate the correlation coefficient and correlation coefficient should not be less than 0.998. Calibration of injector loop, precision and linearity of injector and loop chromatographic conditions. The chromatographic conditions are as follows, column, C18, 250 mm times 4.6 mm, 5M, column temperature, 25C, flow rate, 1 mL per minute, mobile phase, methanol, HPLC water, wavelength, 272 nm, injection volume, 5 microliter, 10 microliter, 20 microliter, 50 microliter, and 100 microliter, prepare the 20 ppm of caffeine in HPLC water by diluting 2 ml of stock solution to 50 ml with HPLC water and inject the triplicates of 5 microliter, 10 microliter, 20 microliter, 50 microliter, and 100 microliter of sample preparation. Plot the graph of injection volume against area, calculate correlation coefficient should not be less than 0. 998, Auto sampler injector calibration, the chromatographic conditions are as follows, column, union, flow, 1 milliliter slash min, wavelength, 254 nanometers, mobile phase, water, injection volume, 5 ml slash 10 ml slash 20 ml slash 50 ml slash 100 ml, run time, 2 minutes, fill HPLC veil with HPLC water, weigh accurately filled vial note down the weight of filled vial, A, Inject 10 injections of equal volume about 5 milliliters of HPLC water from the same vial. Reweigh the same vial note down the weight, B. The difference in the weighing gives the weight of water injected. Maintain temperature at 25 degrees Celsius during whole procedure. Determine the volume of water injected by assuming that the weight of 1 milliliter of purified water at 25 degrees Celsius when weighed in air of density 0. 0.012 gm per ml is 0.99602, volume of water per inch, equals a, b into 0.99602 into 1000 slash 10, repeat the same procedure by taking injection volume 10 milliliters, 20 milliliters, 50 milliliters, 100 milliliters instead of 5 milliliters, acceptance criteria. Volume in ml of individual injection should be plus or minus 2% of defined volume. Calibration for gradient program test, high-pressure gradient elute delivery of two mobile phases, HPLC water and 10 ppm caffeine solution, is performed, the absorbance produced by various set concentrations is measured and the measurements are used to calculate the actual concentrations, purge all the port with HPLC water, replace the column with union, equilibrate system up to minimum one hour, before gradient program test is carried out, parameters set are as below, pumpa, C receiver, 500. ML HPLC water. Pump B, D receiver, 500 milliliters 10 ppm caffeine. Pumping mode, gradient system, A, B, C, 
D, flow rate, 1 milliliter per minute, UV detector, 272 nanometers, temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, stop time, 35 minutes. Calculate the observed mobile phase composition CX, in percent B and in percent D, from HX values by the following formula, CX, percent, equals HX into 100 upon H100, where, X, for programmed step height, 10%, 50%, 90%, 100%, HX, height of respective plateaus in M, CX, the observed mobile phase composition, H100, height for 100% peak, acceptance criteria, the observed mobile phase composition shall be within plus or minus 2.0 of the set composition, column oven temperature, place a calibrated digital temperature. Thermometer probe inside the column heater, ensure that the thermometer probe does not contact any inside surface of oven. Close the column compartment properly, set column compartment temperature 30 degrees Celsius. Take sufficient time to the oven temperature to reach and stabilize at set temperature, repeat the procedure for 40 degrees Celsius 60 degrees Celsius and record the results. Carryover test, the chromatographic conditions are as follows, column, C18, 250 mm into 4.6 mm, 5 micrometer, column temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, flow rate, 1 milliliters per minute, mobile phase, methanol, water, wavelength, 272 nemometer, injection volume, 20 microliter, sample preparation, 100 ppm solution, dilute 10 milliliters of caffeine stock solution to 50 milliliters with HPLC water, calculate carryover by the formula, carryover, percent, equals carryover area in blank into 100 upon test area, acceptance. Criteria, not more than 0.01%. I hope you like the information useful. Thank you for watching.